Hi students, today we are discussing morphology of gymnosperms. That is important topic for plus one biology. Okay, let's get started. In our previous video, we discussed about habitat and general characteristics of gymnosperms. In this video, we are discussing about morphology of gymnosperms. Starting from the roots, they have generally taproot system is present. Some genera have fungal association in the form of mycorrhizae. For example, pinus. In pinus plant, they have mycorrhizal association is seen in the their root system. You can see in this picture. Mycorrhizal association is the symbiotic association between roots and the roots of higher plants and the fungi. As corolloid roots, some gymnosperms, small specialized roots associated with nitrogen fixing bacteria. For example, cycas have corolloid roots associated with nitrogen fixing bacteria. Here is the corolloid roots. You can see in this picture. This is coral shaped become the roots become coral shaped roots plus fungal association in seen in pinus and roots plus cyanobacteria in cycles roots associated with cyanobacteria is seen in cycles and roots associated with fungal association seen in pinus then what is the condition of stems in the Gymnosperms stems may be branched or unbranched. Branched example pinus and citrus and branched is cycas. You can see in this picture cycas unbranched and pinus is branched in the gymnosperms. Leaves may be simple or compound leaves are present. In compound leaves, it may be pinnately or palmately arranged leaves. Pinately or palmately arranged leaves. That's all about morphology. In the next video, we will discuss about characteristics that reduce the water loss in gymnosperms. Okay, thank you.